This video is sponsored by Ren. Welcome yet again to another episode of Angel's TikTok algorithm gets compromised for your entertainment and for my money. So we're doing this once again because there's a lot of it, but there are a lot of topics to be covered. I've collected these like a while back already. I don't remember any of it. For the first video, we have this girl. See, it's not just boys, it's also girls. I also call out girls. Would you think we need to have me Weird flex. I mean, she's right about one part. She did fail this generation, but not for the reasons she thinks. Is that Doja Cat bisexual? And she's using a Doja Cat? First one, my parents are still together. But are they happily together is what I'm thinking about. Are they happy together? Are they happy they have you as their child? I'm kidding. Oh my god. Angel, stop. You need to stop. Stop. I don't know what it is with people and their stigma with like divorce and separated parents There are some couples out there that have been together for like 5,000 years yet. They're absolutely miserable They're like domestic abuse victims. They're cheating alcoholism all that type of stuff So that doesn't really say much about how much you're tolerating and how much you're not right. I only like boys She said I only like boys cool Congratulations, do you want a trophy for that? When people are like flexing that they're straight, I wanna ask them, when did you decide that you were straight? That's always something that people ask gay people. Like, when did you decide that you were gay? When did you decide that you were straight? Because a lot of the times, the only reason why you've established that you're straight is because it's a social construct to be straight. I am a she, not a they. Again, would you like an award for that? Do you want me to like put a medal over you for being a she? I'm also a she. Do I get a medal? Somebody give me a medal. I'm a she. Guys. And what's with your background by the way? Is your family cutting down trees or something? So you're promoting these sexist, homophobic, toxic mentality and you're also heavily contributing to the climate crisis? Luckily, this video is sponsored by Ren. I'm kidding, I have no idea of those laws. I'm, I just said that for the sake of the smooth segue. Anyways, obviously global warming, climate change is a huge problem, especially in my country where it's very important to have like a good environment given that we are so prone to disasters. I'm so excited to be collaborating with Ren because through Ren, we can take some steps so that we can be aware of how all of our lifestyles can emit CO2. So through Ren, you can answer a few different questions that tell them a little bit more about your lifestyle, then find out your carbon footprint and how to reduce it. So once you sign up to make a monthly contribution by funding a diverse mix of carbon reduction projects like tree planting, mineral weathering, you'll receive monthly updates from the projects that you support. You can even have photos and details on every tree that's planted, every single acre that has been reforested, and every ton of carbon offset. For example, a really amazing project that Ren is working on is clean cooking fuel for refugees. So it has the potential to provide clean cooking fuel for over 1 million refugees and prevent thousands of acres of deforestation each year and it's gonna take a lot before ending a climate crisis but you can start helping today by learning more about it on ren.co so what are you waiting for please go check it out and offset your carbon footprint on ren the first 100 people to sign up by using the code that is located in the description box will have 10 extra trees planted in their name this is honestly such an amazing sponsorship and yeah go check them out now ha I personally find that video funny, all right? And I lost a lot of followers on that, you know? That's sir. But secondly, fine to body shame height, but when I body shame and weight, and I have a preference on how I like my women, it's a fucking problem. The thing is, there's a difference between having a preference and being a body shamer. Obviously, I don't condone anybody body shaming anybody for their height. I think that's stupid. It's also perpetuating toxic masculinity. If you're not tall and big and all that stuff, then you're not a worthy man. It's also really not a good thing to say. Thing is, you can have a preference and not be an asshole about it. I would say the same thing if I saw a girl who was like, ah, he's he's short. You don't have to announce to everybody that this is what I want. Who cares? Are you holding auditions for what you want? Are you paying somebody? What else do you have to offer? If you're gonna attack people for their weight, that's a whole different story because the world we live in is very fat phobic. The manifestations for their oppression is very systemic. There are people out there who don't get proper health care. They, they're not represented as much. To attack an entire minority minority group and, and like covering that shit up as preference does not sit right with me. Honestly, it's just an excuse to be an asshole. And he said it himself. The reason why he said that is to get people pissed. Seems like I pissed a lot of fucking people off. I have to say, 
that was the point of it you know he got what he wanted he was very proud of it that's cool but it's just unproductive if you want to fight body shaming against men then don't do the exact same thing i think that's a very unproductive discussion and it's so icky like all the comments are like yes king you're so right king you you nailed it king i don't think that's king behavior one i just found it weird that you related 60 kilos to children that was that was really i don't know it was kind of fucked up i think it is weird it's very common for women to be in this state in which they are mostly attractive if they are young hairless don't weigh a lot that is all in the name of no that standard, the one that you think you've constructed for yourself, it's constructed by a lot of societal things that has been embedded for you, subliminally messaged to you all throughout your life. You did not make those standards. Society made those standards and you chose to follow it in a really assholey way. Yo, yo, yo. Ah! Okay, when I first saw this, I actually laughed. I was like, that's funny. I was 100% that it's just a joke. But then I stalked his TikTok. And it turns out he also posted this TikTok. Interesting reaction. Have you tried polyamory? Maybe you can just tell your girl that or let's be real Is there any girl at all to be honest? But yeah, that is an option that way It's at least consensual if you're not into monogamous relationships I talked about this in my podcast and there was this video of this girl who said that um, She's never been cheated on because she cheated on them first I'll insert the video right over here and everybody made fun of that girl Everybody said that she's ugly everybody body shamed her everybody was ripping her apart Which I would like to reiterate that I do not condone what she said there I think it's effed up for you to cheat on your partner in general But it's so weird that the one time a girl talks about like oh I'm cheating or something And then she gets ripped apart in the internet she was all over she wasn't just on TikTok It wasn't just a bunch of stuff it was also on Facebook, it was on Twitter, it was literally everywhere. But the moment that a guy does it, nobody bats an eye. Or if they make videos like this. Gotta be sick of this guy. Pull up skirt, get in the right, left hand is stiff. Nobody says anything, they don't say shit, and don't even lie, I know you're not getting any pussy. We be talking about men can have sex with as many different women as they want to, and it's all good, but as soon as we have sex with different men, we hope. Man, let me explain this to y'all, I was gonna keep quiet, but let me explain this to y'all. Imagine having a key. It's always this goddamn key analogy. If I hear this goddamn key analogy one more freaking time, I already know what he's gonna say. He's gonna be like, a key that can open any lock is a good key, but a lock that can be opened by any key, that's a pretty bad lock. Can we please stop this amazing habit that we have wherein we compare women, you know, actual human beings to inanimate objects. My cooch is not a lock. Your pee-pee is not a key. My I am not an inanimate object. You are not an inanimate object. Wow, you actually have feelings. Amazing, you're a human being who's sentient and has rights. I'm guaranteed anybody who sees their pee-pee as if it's a key has never made any woman orgasm. <laughs> And he said that with so much conviction, with so much cockiness. Like what he's about to say is something so deep and something that's backed up by research and statistics and that's something that he actually studied for. But no, what he's gonna say is his pee-pee is a key and everybody's coochie is a lock. I'm tired. I'm so tired. Anyways, I'm gonna cleanse the timeline with some encouraging TikToks just so that you guys don't leave this video feeling upset and angry. If you're a man and you're frustrated with being lumped together with rapists and attackers just because of our gender, maybe take it up with the men giving us that bad name rather than harassing the woman who have to be on defense 24 seven because of those men. See? There's hope. Okay, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, by the way, my hair, my my headband is from Rowie Cells. So go check them out. She makes like a bunch of crochet stuff. So if you guys want some crochet, go, go check that out. That's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please comment. Please like. Do all the things. I don't know how to do outros. Outro.